Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a new progress video. In this episode, we're gonna definitely finish the Master Combat Diaries. We're missing the CM task, and that's the sub 45. It's kind of RG because I don't have a twisted bow. Some rooms just take forever, like Faza for, exa for example. So I'm gonna try and finish that off and then probably work on T.O.P. Cox and uh, next release. Uh, it's kind of packed right now, next. Uh, it's just mass worlds with 80 people and I don't really want to waste my time there yet. I think smaller groups would be way more efficient for me to get a drop because the mass worlds are really not worth it. Anyways, let's try and finish this uh, master task and knock out the master section of the combat titles. Alright, I did some next release and in the beginning there was like 80 people in every world so I wasn't really looking for drops. If I got them as a bonus that would be nice. I was basically trying to get my kill count up in case it was required for combat diaries but I'm pretty sure they're not gonna release it anytime soon. And as you can see here I got 250 KC and these were the drops I saw so far. And after long grinding I finally got the CM time and this is the master time. I need to get the grandmaster time as well but I will do that later. So let's claim our rewards. Alright, so let's claim a reward, I think. I just went through the wrong option for some reason, so let me find out which one you have to do. I have completed a combat here, I think that's the option, there we go. I should get an XP lamp, so that's really nice. And we have a lot of rewards as well. We put this on the agility, I think, because that's one of my slowest skills. I don't mind doing rune crafting because I need the blood runes. And let's see what we got as rewards. Master, uh, reduce KC for God Wars, reduce KC for keys, I mean, increase drop chains. 100k for the instances. I'm gonna get this uh, first element just to flex. I don't think it looks good, but I might as well get it. Anything else? Um, not really, that's basically it. Do you just use, use it on him? I can't even remember. Verzik. Okay, it doesn't look that bad, but I think the Zok helmet looks the best for sure. The Jad helmet doesn't look that good. I already have the episode head. I think that one looks better than the Jad one. So if you're wondering what's next, uh, Grandmaster. Okay, so we definitely need a Sight and Tebow to make it easy. And I think I can do a lot of tasks without Sight and Tebow. So if I, if I can do that zero time, I'll probably work on it. But my main goal now is to get uh, Tebow in Sight. And I'll probably work on Next as well once it's... Uh, cool down a bit and you can do smaller team rates because in a big mass it's just too much RNG I think a drop rate is one in 3000 or something to get it so I'd rather do smaller groups and grind that out a bit as well you don't need a Tebow or side for next so I could just use bolts and uh, ACB I also have an armadillo task so I'll probably work on that as well get the uh, armadillo chain code get that out of the way and then we basically finish gold wars anyways uh, I'm not sure what the next script is gonna be but you'll probably see it next what the Yo, we take the split, baby. It's oh, no no way. Way. Oh, way. Way. Oh, 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 that's huge. How lucky can they be? Yeah, free Holy guys. shit, free from, yeah. dude, that's so sick. Eight people, eight people, eight people, right? Oh, that's a fat split, baby. This is so sad. There's no way. There's no way! <laughs> Alright, so not every clip had commentary, so I'm gonna voice over a couple. Uh, I just did 12 to 15 mans at the beginning after uh, worlds were empty because uh, we didn't really know what the metas were and we were just doing casual kills with the Discord. And we weren't really sweating it. At the beginning, it was really nice because we saw drops left and right. But I think Jagex nerfed the drop table or the drop rate of uniques afterwards. I'm not 100% sure on that. So afterwards, we saw way less items. And I did some smaller teams as well later on, like uh, six to eight mans. Uh, I think six men is meta, but yeah. Spoiler alert, I got three fan braces and yeah, those are, those are the same drop rate as I hailed from TOB, I would say. Uh, the rest of the clips have some commentary and freakouts, so yeah, enjoy them. MVP, MVP, MVP as well. MVP as well, MVP. That's a juicy five bills, right? Yeah, it is. Of course. Anyone else got MVP in that kill? Let's go, let's go. 
Ada full turba, ada full turba, ada full turba, ada full turba. Oh my god. I'm telling, I'm done, I'm done. I'm telling. No, I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling. Shoot, Torva play body, man. Let's get the full Torva. What are you thinking? Ah, yeah? For the task? God damn, man. Shoot. Alright, good luck. Ooh. Ooh. We take those, baby. What the? Alright, so after I got full Torva, I decided to work on the Grandmaster tasks again. Even though I'm missing T1 sites, there, site, there is some tasks that require those and some where it's also needed but not a must. So, for example, the 1 minute 20 Hydra kill is there guaranteed where you need a T1. I know you can do it without, but I don't want to sit there for 5 days or something getting the time when I could just get a T1 and make every task easier. Uh, the task at the background right now is the Bandos one, which required a Bofa, which I already have, so I decided to knock that out of the way. So I'm debating on doing some tasks where you don't need a T-Board site and knock those out of the way, so I'm more motivated to work on the T-Board site, because you're gonna definitely need one or the two, and both is recommended, but yeah, getting those items takes like, I think on average t is like... 800 solo rates, I'm not 100% sure on the number, so I think it's 1 in 300 for a Mega Rare, so like 1 in 900 for Tebo specific. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna work on solo Cox and TOB uh, next upcoming videos, so I don't think I will upload any progress videos anytime soon because uh, getting those two items will just take too many hours. Uh, at the background, I'm doing the Kirby method, shout out to him. Uh, basically, I had to get two kills without taking damage from the minion and one kill without taking damage from anything. Uh, took me three hours to learn the method, so definitely recommend it. Also, I had to do a 15 kill trip, which was not really that hard, just uh, took me an hour. Even though I already fin finished Bandos, and now I completely finished the Bandos section, so we knocked that out of the way. And yeah, I still have the Master Caskets I saved for this episode, so yeah, enjoy these. Alright, while I was editing, I was just cooking some anglerfish, and let's look at the comma tasks. 31 out of 73, so I'm not gonna show you every task that I need. It's mainly hard mode TOB and inferno tasks, I think, and some speed tasks. 
So I definitely gonna need a site and T-bone now, and that will, that's what I will be working on the next video. So hopefully I spoon one or the two, and I can work on some tasks in between. If not, uh, the next progress video is gonna be take a, it's probably gonna take a long time. I might do a video of all the TOB loot I get and every Cox loot I get, but I haven't decided yet. Anyways, if you made it this far, give this video a like and peace.